So I take some salt, put it in water, nicely stir it. I won't be able to see salt and water separately. If I want to separate, I'll have to heat it. I take some sand, put it in water. I can see the sand settle after some time. One, the first one, salt and water, that's homogeneous mixture. Second, that's heterogeneous. The composition is not uniform throughout the uh, mixture and uh, the particle sizes are different, which is why you can also filter. And there's something which is intermediate, which is what we call as colloids. And that's what Prashita showed that in the centrifuge. So if you want to separate a colloid, uh, you'll have to do something special because the particle sizes are just right in the between the two. You can't filter, but you can't also leave it to sediment on its own too. And uh, one such colloid which we uh, have in our daily life, uh, fortunately we don't see it as often, is blood. In fact, that was the uh, problem as Prachita was saying, that was the problem Man Prakash was trying to address, that I take a blood sample, do a centrifugation, then can I figure out, even if I don't have any source of electricity, can I find uh, deep inside a jungle uh, whether the blood is infected by malaria. Uh, so one quick way to do that is to have a view of the blood composition at the micro level. At micro level you need a nice microscope with two lenses. Uh, typically you need two lenses because one lens would magnify and that image falls into the second lens which magnifies further and hence you get double magnification which is why these microscopes are called compound microscopes. What if I use a single lens which is that powerful and that's what we are doing here. What you see in this ice cream stick here right behind this black tape there is a small hole and uh, inside that hole we have mounted a glass bead which is 2.5 millimeter in diameter there's another one here which is a 4.5 millimeter diameter you can I'm showing it from the other side so that you get a better view now what children do in this case when we work on this activity with children is that they take this ice cream stick make a hole of the right size quite often it's not very straightforward to make the hole of the right size but still it's a one-time effort and you install these beads in the holes and what you have ready with you is a microscope and a very very portable microscope only flip side is it's a single lens so a simple microscope not a compound one so single lens is doing the job of all the magnification this one the 4.5 millimeter diameter bead gives close to 20 to 30 x magnification the other one gives around 110 120 x the flip side is the focal length also keeps reducing so with the 2.5 millimeter diameter if i want to see something then i need to place the microscope literally on the object and keep it this close to my eyes and point it to a light source that's the way we have a look at it now if i want to give a view of this to you all there's another very interesting way because it is this simple in design all i need to do is behind the mobile camera right behind the camera i place the glass bead and then the slide and what i can do is switch on the camera of my mobile phone point the phone to a light source and i can view what i would see with my own eyes and i, I can also uh, click photographs do some digital zooming in and with the 2.5 millimeter diameter you can also have a look at the nucleus of the cell. Sometimes the light source when it is too bright uh, it's not as effective and what we do is here I have a simple plastic piece on which a butter paper has been fixed. This helps in diffusing the light and that makes it even more effective. Let's have a look at how it looks when, when we look at it from this setup. All you need to do is below this plastic piece you place let's say a mobile another mobile with the flashlights on and you keep it on top to have a good view of the microscope. 